Okay, we continue with the uh, sync oscillator because there's a couple of uh, interesting functions uh, added to uh, this sync. If we listen to the uh, to the sync sound, then uh, we have two more modules built in into this oscillator. One is a sub octave out uh, divider, which is basically on the sawtooth. So that means that if you, instead of having the uh, of having the sawtooth mix with the sync sound in the filter, you can also take the subsquare output, put it into input A of the filter, and then. So if you want to have a super deep bottom to your sounds, you can actually use that. But the reason why this uh, subsquare is available because is this subsquare can actually internally modulate the synced pitch. And And as you can hear, you get a little bit of vowel effect. This vowel effect can also be modulated. So if I take a uh, like a triangle LFO signal and I put it into the sub mod input here and open this knob. So adding a little bit of this sub octave modulation also gives a bit more bottom to the sound. Thank you. 
can hear that you can add a lot of brightness to the sound but also related to the uh, sub octave uh, sound. The uh, oscillator also has a uh, sample and hold built in and the sample and hold is uh, actually an audio rate variable sample rate sample and hold which is also hardwired to the sole main oscillator in the uh, uh, oscillator system and you may ask why add this sample and hold well actually the sample and hold is quite interesting because uh, if you do not use the sample and hold input then the sample and hold input is actually normalized to the uh, synced waveform where it captures the level of the sinking flank now uh, this is probably a bit uh, technical uh, subject so i won't go to, too deep in it but one of the uh, interesting effects is that if you have a uh, synced sound and you start to open the sync modulation then actually all these the pitch modulation the sub modulation and the sync modulation are normalized to the sample and hold output and the sample and hold input is normalized to the sync pitch that means that if you open the sync mod You start to change the pitch of the synced oscillator that means that the sinking flank will have a different level that level will actually change the pitch of the next cycle and the next cycle and the next cycle and that way we create a little bit a sort of a noisy random effect in the sound if we go to manual mode and we lower the pitch we can actually also add a little bit of Mod. We get a random effect. Now it's interesting to use the sample and hold output and modulate the Twin Peak filter. We can actually use the sawtooth to also modulate the filter. And
So all these crazy sounds are created basically because this sample and hold input is normalized to this internal circuitry that cleans up the sync sound and isolates the syncing flank from the uh, sync sound. Because if I take a cable and I just put it into the sample and hold input, everything is gone. And no matter what you do here, but then if I pull out this cable, it's chaos again. Now one of the important things if you work with this oscillator is that by default when you start patching you have to close these three modulation knobs else you hear a random effect and maybe you don't know the random effect.